I should just leave that in. <laughs> oh, what a mood. Hey, <laughs> everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. <laughs> uh, today is going to be a shorter episode because I am fixing my sleep schedule. Uh, if you haven't heard before, I have non-24 hour sleep-wake disorder. It is one of a laundry list of things that's just knocking about in my brain. Uh, I also suffer depression, social anxiety disorder, and uh, a really fun one, uh, hypochondria, which was actually the catalyst for me to first see a doctor about my other mental health issues years and years ago. Because uh, when I went to Anaheim once, uh, it was my first ever trip out of the tri-state area of New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. I had a really severe panic attack because my really silly brain was convinced uh, that I had developed Parkinson's. And that is not an uncommon type of thing to happen. But that was kind of the tipping point where I was like, I cannot just uh, ignore this shit anymore and just cope because it sucks. Uh, and that unfortunately took me a little over 20 years of my life to finally deal with. I would highly recommend if you are uh, suffering, if you are in pain, if you even suspect anything is, uh, is wrong up there. It's fine. It's okay to not be okay. Get it dealt with sooner rather than later. Uh, because you have no idea how much better you could feel. Never underestimate the extent to which you can feel better. Uh, so my social anxiety and depression and hypochondria are pretty well managed nowadays. They do flare up from time to time and it gets more severe than at other times. Those will just likely be lifelong issues, which is fun, but the comparison I always make is that I used to be in floodwaters that kind of came up to my chest. It was like wading through a swamp. But now it's somewhere between a puddle and just ankle deep. And occasionally, the water rises a bit. But it always, it's, it always reliably drains. Uh, and one of the challenges of my sleep disorder is that while I do generally consider myself a night owl, you know, I love the stillness of the night, the, the peace and serenity of it. Oh shit, I forgot this was graded. Hmm. Oh well. Hmm. Uh, I do end up getting really depressed if I even fixed my sleep schedule after a while. Uh, like if it doesn't just drift back to normal, wake up in the morning, sleep at night kind of rhythm. The depression gets really bad, so I have to be pretty vigilant about taking an active role in fixing my sleep patterns, despite my circadian rhythms trying to fist fight me on that. Hey, you're not hurt, are you? Well, if you are, the infirmary is the place to go. Dr. Brenda's got enough medicine for everyone at rock bottom prices. But, uh, just between you and me, Every time I'm in here, the doc can't stop smiling at this old dog. I wonder if she wants to experiment on me. Look, I'm a Labrador, not a lab rat. Ah, anyway, I've got a lot to do. So see you later. And remember, safety first, and you won't end up in here. So we're still on our tour of HQ, and I think we head to the bathroom next? Oh no, it's the vending machine, and then the bathroom. Uh, so we've been here, and we've been to the bathroom, which is a weird sentence, no matter the context, the um, to present it like this new novel thing. So I'm gonna... I, I would much rather finish my point here, uh, and since this will be a short episode anyway, I won't get many other opportunities to do so, so I'm just gonna talk over Lappy. Or Lappy. Ven, though. Ven, Ven, Ven. God, they named the vending machine. Um, 
So, I also have uh, confirmation finally that I am on the autism spectrum, which is something that I've long suspected, as have a lot of other uh, autistic folks I've spoken to over the years at any length about this subject and about my various idiosyncrasies that, in retrospect, were huge tells. Uh, so that's cool. It's weird to have confirmation about that a third of the way or so into my life, but I'm discovering a lot of things about myself this year and coming to terms with the fact that self-discovery is a lifelong process. And we should never stop learning and growing and especially introspecting. So that's the state of my brain. And I hope this does something for someone. This is a weird episode. Uh, I don't know that I would call it entertainment but i figured i might as well talk about my brain since i've been oh god my brain i need to lp that game one day uh but i figured i might as well talk about my brain since i've been very tired uh this past weekend as my sleep schedule continues to do bi-weekly cartwheels so this is the state of my brain 2019 edition and now we have something actually new so i'll shut up for a sec You're wondering what this is, right? Well, this is the Logotis Terminal. If you connect your Logotis, you can change your Legion's colors or perform maintenance. Maintenance means making sure your Legion is all shiny and clean again. I've never seen a Legion, but fighting chimeras must be dirty work, right? And Lappy definitely likes a nice bath after a long day, so legions probably do too. After you clean them, you can change their armor's colors and show them off in style. Hmm, maybe old Lappy could use a change of color too. <laughs> anyway, gotta run, partner. You know what, this will probably be a useful episode for someone. Not the most exciting or action-packed one, though getting to show off the, the Gladius mode that we just unlocked is pretty fun. Can't wait to get into the field with that, though. Uh, and uh, plus, I'm always advocating for people to talk more openly about mental health, so hopefully this does something for someone. This, on the other hand, is a thing. <laughs> We're gonna make him shiny and new. Our buddy, the Sword Legion. And then, be unable to customize his colors because we have nothing unlocked yet. We were baited. We were entirely, completely baited into that, into getting our hopes up that we would be able to dress up the Legion. I'm Bark, partner! Oh, uh, I mean... Uh, uh, working hard, I see. I don't believe we've met. I'm Marie Wentz. Lappy told me so much about you, I feel like I know you already. And there is something I need to talk to you about. What did you do with Lappy? Lappy, um... Lappy said he had to go water the flowers for a bit, if you know what I mean. I really don't. He's definitely not... What? ...too tired, or too hot, or too heavy, or really, really smelly, or anything like that. No, but what was that euphemism? So, no need to ask. <laughs> yep. Don't worry about old Lappy. <laughs> Look, I know you're really busy, and we just met, but... Oh, I can't say it out here. Let's meet somewhere more private. How about the garage downstairs? Whenever you're ready, but maybe try to hurry just a little bit, okay? Finally, at long last, Lappy is going to propose to me. This is not a place that we've actually seen or visited yet. And double goes for Tabuchi, manning the garage. But he has nothing really to say to us just yet. So we'll proceed with this. You can even see the costume! Oh, oh good, you came. Not 
that I thought you wouldn't. Look at the size of that <laughs> lad in her arms. Um, so, uh, here. I met this little guy while out on patrol. I couldn't just leave him out there. One look in those big eyes and... and... And you had to bring him back, right? Oh! Uh, uh, Akira! What are you doing here? I saw her coming down here and wondered if something was up. Call it an itch I had to scratch. And, speaking of scratches, stray animals are really likely to carry chimera corruption. Now, you of all people should know that bringing them here is way, way off limits, Marie. I know, but... but... Look, hand your little guy over to me. I'll make sure he gets back where he came from. Safe and sound. of several missing persons around Maison Forest in Zone 30. It's more than the local police can handle, so they put the call out to us. Let's wrap things up before it gets any worse over there. Akira, do you read me? Akira! Oh, wait, what? I'm sorry. Jeez, are you even listening? You're going to Maison Forest. Wouldn't have taken you for a slacker. Anyway, all the other officers have their own assignments, so go support the Legionis, okay? If, of course, you're feeling up to it. Maison Forest? <laughs> That's perfect. Wait, what? <clears throat> Sorry, come on, let's get going. Get ready, and I'll meet you on the roof. Chop, chop. Oh, oh my. Okay, well, take your time and make sure you don't forget anything before you go. So it's our introduction to being able to rescue cats and our segue into the next proper field mission. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, donate on Patreon if you are so inclined and have the means to do so. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, etc. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.